Hey, Magic Man fans. Here I am back and let's play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, part 17. So, last off, we left in this house, and you see the you see people, and they might be familiar. Let's see. Oh, well, that person in the middle isn't. Cripes. I don't see those black brutes anywhere. They gotta be hiding somewhere, waiting for their helpless little prey to come out. Then they'll feast. We are safe as long as we remain here, child. Be at ease. Oh yeah, I wonder if the monsters out there agree with you. They sure are impressed by the bomb, my bombs. How long did you think we can hold the sanctuary against beasts this strong, huh? Once they attack, it's over. Look at Colin just being all, you know, Colinish. And what happened? She was already gone. There were two monsters waiting. You connect the dots. That means if we get attacked by them, then we'll be Barnes or Barnies or Barnes. Yeah, Barnes. And now she's crying. Stupid Barnes. He, yeah, he needs a bigger shirt. You can see half of his stomach. And that guy's a big jerk in this game. There is a seller. Oh, that was weird how he walked. What, you got the cellar? Where's the entrance, man? The entrance to the cellar is designed to open when all the candles have been lit. <laughs> I wonder, I would not do that. My father instructed me to secure the cellar. I saw insects like that beast outside. <laughs> and he goes back. He walks really weird. Don't cry, Beth. It'll be okay. Still crying. Magic Man's coming to save us all. I love that song. Min's Laminit. Minda's Laminit. He's just like, huh? Oh. Look at him. Idiot. I can feel it. That's pretty sad. I can't don't even know I'm there. These kids, they come to save you. What a hero. How sad to be right in front of someone and not be noticed that. Ee hee hee. You were chosen by the gods, and only that keeps you from turning into a spirit or worse, into a dark monster when you enter Twilight. And no one knows what you have done. You had to do into toil, toil and obscurity forever. You're the type of the type to worry about everything. I can tell. Princess Zelda, candles, basement. So you basically gotta light all the candles like that guy said. Let's pick up the stick that that Barnes guy had. And get fire. Light it on fire first, I'm stupid. I prefer to do both sides because then if you mess up, you don't have... Okay. I forgot you can't rush when you're doing that. Yeah, I prefer you to light it both sides because it makes things much easier if you miss. So then if you miss, you can just go backwards and it'll still be light on the other side. How you should love how he just threw it. He just threw it. Okay, we're going to our bugs here. First bugs. Of, uh, first bugs of Elden. You can quickly get them like that. Pretty easy stuff. And, trust me, you'll be coming back to this air, this uh, cellar or basement later in the game. For very important stuff, actually. To get, it's actually to get to a temple. And it's gonna be right there. Trust me, you'll, you'll be there. Okay. Oh, this looks like we jump, jump up it in a small hole. How about that? Looks like you can climb up the scaffolding. That's probably my favorite jumping with a wolf in the game. Just like, it reminds me of ma wall jumping in Mario or Mega Man X or something. I don't know. Okay, am I not close? Oh, really? I was that close. Oh look, it's a uh, it's a dark piece, a twilight piece, or whatever. Yeah, so we're already making pretty good progress, and trust me, I'll be back here too. Kakariko Village is actually a very important place, and this is the graveyard. Actually, uh, it's a lot like the one in Ocarina of Time. Well, it's it's like yeah, it's a lot similar because they're in Ocarina of Time, Twilight Princess. They're both close. They're both close to Kakariko Village. Yeah, pretty much. It's pr pretty similar. So I prefer jumping right here into this door, 
or something or whatever and jumping down and you turn your senses on there's a bug right there so then you pick pick up the wood uh you get a nearby fire or flame or i don't know what do you want to call it light it up and a bug comes yeah you can just uh, you don't have to fight them you can just you know uh use that power uh the portal whatever Okay, now, this is my favorite building in Kakariko Village. I don't know why. It reminds me of, like, a bar, which is pretty much what, probably what it is. As you see, actually, they're actually, correct me if I'm wrong, that's alcohol right there. Or beer, or drugs, or, oh, look, a chest. Oh, look, 20 rupees, actually. Yeah, we need some rupees, because I haven't been collecting them that well. Yeah, you can just use a portal. It actually pretty much pones everybody. Oh, I didn't even know there's blue rupee behind there. I just thought I actually thought there was a bug behind there. Wait. Ah. Nope, run behind there. Now I think there is a bug in here. Yeah. That's one of those. I, the bugs can fly. I think at least some of them can. So. Watch out for that. I mean, not really watch out for it. And I would uh, knock down these dressers or whatever's and see what we can get. <clears throat> and uh, I think there's an exit somewhere around here. I think there should be at least. Oh, look at that. There isn't. So uh, you can just go back to the way you entered. Actually, no, you can't. But since you're a wolf, it's harder to exit places. Yeah, you can't ex get out the way you came. So wait a second while I find out the way you can get out. Okay, guys, back in the fireplace. I found out two boxes right here. You climb it. Yeah. And then you can jump out, jump back out the way you came. So now it's time to gather more bugs. I'll make you cry because I'm giving you some tears. Ah, that was a bad joke. That was I wouldn't even call that a joke. It was so bad. But we're talking about if we're talking about me, then I don't make any good jokes at all. So is there anyone around here? Actually, there isn't. I think there's supposed to be a lake right here. Pretty obvious by the water. Oh. I think you're supposed to jump in here. Oh, look at that. Glass. Oh, I wonder to break the glass. I think that's actually... I think that's what you're supposed to do, actually. Yeah. But I don't think you're supposed to fail as bad as I do. So, yeah, jump in. And... Get your next tier of light. That's why I was getting confused. I was knocking down the dressers over that guy at that one other place. I knew you had to get a bug by knocking on dresser, and it was over here. Obviously, I was being stupid. And then, and they made it pretty cool because they made it that you had to down, knock down a dresser, and then to get up here and then get out. So that's pretty uh, smart. But isn't everything Nintendo do, does smart? I mean, Nintendo. We we wouldn't have video games today if it wasn't for Nintendo because of the gaming crash of 1983 and. Pretty much everything. I mean, if they made rumbling video games. They made everything. I mean, we wouldn't have rumble rumble packs or rumbling controllers today if it weren't from Nintendo. I mean, we wouldn't. We we wouldn't have nowhere near as good games as we do today. If it weren't for Nintendo. And I'm not just blabbing on and lying. I mean, like that's so it's literally really true. I mean, if you think about it. Oh man, you're gonna burn down this house? Uh, okay, uh. Isn't that the way I get out? Oh, really? Okay, I don't wanna die. Yeah, okay. 
that was the way I was supposed to get out. But since I am running out of time, guys, desperately sorry, I'm going to burn down this house and get the bug. Isn't that just pleasant? A house burning down and, to me, end a video. Probably, the title of this video is probably going to be Burn, Baby, Burn. Okay, let's get these three bugs, uh, three tears. Okay, guys, uh, thanks, thank you for watching my, ma uh, Magic Man video. I'm just gonna save and, uh, bid you guys a very good farewell. So, uh, see you in part 18, guys, see ya.